Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to Airport CEO. There's a KLM just landing there. And things are going pretty well since we last saw each other. I've not really done much. When I say I've not really done much, I've not done anything in the slightest. We've got people dropping off in taxis, look. A couple of buses dropping off, cars dropping off. Uh, airport's pretty quiet, there's not that many people uh, about. But if you look there, it's just dropping off there. I mean, I wouldn't walk that close to a propeller, mate, in all honesty. Uh, but yeah, people are going to get off. Yeah, lovely, lovely stuff. Uh, we could actually, whilst I think about it, I've just realised we've put no queues on here, have we? Uh, let's just build a queue there. Just, oh, hang on, there we go. And uh, we'll just build another queue there. Just so it's a little bit, uh, I mean, it's never going to be a massive queue, is it, but... And we'll do the same over on this side, because I've not done any sort of queue, have I? There we go. Three in length. And three in length. What have we done for... Uh, so that's going left, that's going right. Okie dokie. We'll just pop a little bit of a queue at the old... Uh... Hang on. That's what I'm doing. Hey, there we go. Is that how we're doing it? Yeah, that's essentially what's gone on there, isn't it? Just trying to mirror opposite. I mean, it's it's not like it's a, a particularly good system. It's not a bad system, the, the whole zigzagging thing. I mean, if the system was that bad, I'm sure airports across the world wouldn't use it. Is that guy stuck? Hannah Schmidt can't find their way. How on earth have you got stuck in there, Hannah? Right. Uh, yeah, we appear to have trapped Hannah between some plant pots. I mean, Hannah does look surprisingly manly. Oh no, Hannah is a passenger. How on earth have you managed to get there? I, I literally do not know how that's happened. Right, well I was going to put up some plants down here, but given that uh, Hannah Schmidt's, uh, yeah, she needs the loo, she's about to wet herself. Uh, she's about to, yeah, she's about to pass out as well. She's been stood there for hours probably, I've just, probably just ignored her. I've got some workmen coming to take those pesky plants away, there we go. You just walk across. It's a shame they don't kind of follow around. Look, he's just walking through the queue line. Uh, it would be nice if they uh, if they interacted with those like solid boundaries a bit more. There we go. Take him away. There we go. Hannah Schmidt can actually get out now. Go on. Go on, Hannah. I mean, hold on. Where where is your flight? Boarding time fourteen thirty. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Year one, day five. Yeah, you're, you're all there. You need to go through security, Hannah. We'll just leave her there for the time being. I'm sure she'll sort herself out. When she realises she's going to miss a flight, uh, she'll sort herself out. Right, so yes, in the last episode, we also built the emergency services things. What we are going to do, however, we're going to pop over to the research and development, and I'm going to click this little chat down here, Program Group 1. And what that does is it enables us, I'll just start that project, shove a, uh, shove a ton of administrators on, uh, it allows us to unlock this down here. I'm not really bothered about any of this down here, but once you've done that, you can unlock project group two. And what that means is that we can be doing two administrative tasks at the same time. So we can be researching and developing at twice the rate that we normally would. Why are you checking in to go down there? That's a bit strange. I mean, you know, if, if that's what you're doing, um, it, it just seems a bit strange. Okay, fair dues. Fair dues. It just seems a little bit odd that you'd go all the way down there. I'm hoping the security will actually take them to the right place as well, because, like, there's not just security down there. They'll all go through there and wonder why they can't get to there. I mean, we could actually... I've got it on full power or full speed. Uh, on the whole research and development, if we can get some flaws... I could actually build like a bridge over there so they can go through either and still go across. I mean, it's... Aircraft stand 12, why are you running late? WA145, is that because Hannah's not there? Oh, Hannah's in the secure zone. Okay. Well, Hannah, uh, that, that means I have to get rid of this plant, dear. I mean, do we know what's happening with that flight yet? Boarding time, 14.30. I should just send that flight. Oh, oh, I think it's gone. Oh, it has gone. She's missed her flight. Oh, dear. Well, you shouldn't have uh, got stuck. Where are you going? 
I mean, literally, where are you going? Your flight's gone, love. Oh, you're going home now. You're just abandoning. I wonder if we gave her a refund for that. I should hope not. I mean, it was her fault for getting stuck behind the sodding plant in the first place. But what that will mean... We'll just delete you. Uh, right, hang on. No, hang on. Don't delete you at all. We'll just unzone this particular... There we go. Just unzone that particular bit of... Uh, there we go. We need another plant, though. I like that plant. I think Hannah's ruined it for all of us. Uh, there. Hang on. Where are we? Plant. We were, we were using were we using banana leaves. We were, weren't we? What's up here? Yes, banana leaves. There we go. She's she's ruined it, ah, Hannah. Yes. So anyway, uh, we've got the emergency services things here. Have we actually got some vehicles? We've got two police cars, haven't we? What what other vehicles have we got? Two ambulances, two fire trucks. I think that's pretty. Uh, Pretty exhaustive, isn't it? It's, it's all that we really need. I mean, these chaps here, look, there we go. Have we got the auto planner switched on? Yes, we have. So the KLM City Hopper are running there. They're quite happy. Uh, off of flights. And, uh, we've got 23 out of 40. We could really do with contracting another airline, but to be honest with you, KLM City Hopper, I I'm just perfectly happy with them just pootling away. What else have we got, actually? Let's have a look uh, in. See if we can offer some contracts with other UK airlines. Uh, economy, no operations. Yeah, economy. Uh, have we got any UK? Blah, 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 blah. No, you see, they're all... What's Strada? That's, uh, yeah, that's not a mod, is it? That comes with a game. No, it's fine. We'll, we'll just we'll just keep with KLM at the moment. I mean, they're making us a tidy profit. If we have a look on the old uh, uh, daily... I mean, we lost 100 grand, but then we did do quite a bit of uh, construction, didn't we? But not there. Uh, no, that was actually... Oh, yeah, we're still losing money. Flipping heck. It's not what we need, is it? I mean, we've still got the two... Oh, hang on. Right. Let's keep going with the regional airport thing. We can make money later. So we need a hangar. Okay. And we need to build a bird strike prevention system. Right. Upgrade the runway. We'll build some Pappy lights as well. The Pappy lights uh, will assist them to land. Uh, so we've got like an ILS on this runway. There we go. Pappy lights are on. And uh, upgrade bird strike prevention system. Let's shove one of them down there. And we'll shove one of you there. And uh, I think just one in the middle uh, for good luck. Yeah, there we go. So that's that. What else do we need? We need an air, uh, we need a hanger, sorry. Uh, so, yes, hanger, 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 there we go. Can we actually fit you in there? I mean, we can. Hmm. Should we shove the hanger on the end there? Yeah, let's shove a hanger on the end. We'll shove one up there as well, keep it nice and symmetrical. And uh, we shall pop you across there. And across there, there we go. Hangers can be built, so if the planes do break, uh, they can go, and uh, they can go there. Now the only problem is we will make that a two-way thing, and then we'll make that one way. So the reason being is if one of these breaks, uh, they can just pop into this hanger there, and same again. That can pop out there, can't it? That's uh, yeah, that's what we want. So we got that. Uh, build a bird strike prevention system. They're working on that, and uh, we need two. So I think, do you know what, sod it, let's go into our contracts and we'll sign another contract with another airline. I know it's not ideal, what are Havana offering us? I mean, they're going to give us 737s eventually, aren't they? Uh, yeah, Havana, you'll do. Um, goose wings, no, nope. fly penguin, no, nope. we'll, we'll just leave it as Havana at the moment. And then we'll just get a few more flights through. Hopefully it'll be a little bit busier. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's good. We've got catering, cleaning, and de-icing disabled. Yep, that's fine. We've also got night flights, haven't we? We unlocked that last time, so hopefully we should work all the way through the night. Have we actually got any, any chaps doing the old building there? Did I sack them all? Oh no, they're walking across there. So we've got the bird strike prevention system. And we just need the hangar. There we go. Hangers are built, people. 
There we go. Lovely. Good stuff. Are the papi lights lit up? Do they change from red to white when there's a plane coming in? Be nice if they did, wouldn't it? Oh, off he goes. Have we got any good scheduled flights through the night? No, we don't, pretty much. There's just a city hop. I mean, oh, for God's sake. Yorkshire International to East Midlands. It's hardly worth bothering. What have we got on Saturday? Okay, there's not a lot on Saturday. Where are all our Havana flights? Where are they? Why are they not? Auto scheduling. I don't know. Is the is the, uh, is the CEO that's in charge of that not heated? Do they go up on a night? Probably. Hmm. Okay. So let's carry on with our next tutorial. Regional airport. So we need some security. Okay. I think we've got security officers. Uh, so we'll have a police car. Uh, yeah, police car patrol. So you go from there, and you go down to there, and there and then down to there and then just on to the end yeah that'll do mate just drive around the uh, the commercial side of things the general aviation i imagine doesn't need a police car uh, patrol i think that's capable of uh, looking after itself save that there we go you can just uh, you can just pop round as you were do we have security officers i don't even know if we do there we go we'll have you go oh no hang on right so from the security into there, 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 there. I mean, this is this is a secure airport if ever you've seen it, isn't it? There we go. We'll tag you on, save the patrol, and then for some reason it gets you to do it, and then it just tells you to delete it. So we'll just delete it. There we go. That's that's that mission complete. Seems a bit weird. Make a patrol route and then delete it straight away. Uh, but you know what? We're going to have a security patrol route. Because I think it'll make our, uh, our airport users feel a bit safer. There we go. I'll be out there. In there. Across. Down. I think that's pretty, uh, pretty comprehensive, isn't it? How many staff do we actually have? Now we've got four security officers. Well, do you know what? Let's have another two. We'll have another two ramp agents, because, uh, yeah, and security officer, yeah, hire you. Uh, and another one, you're in the green, we'll hire you as well. Train you all up. We want you to be maximum trained, don't we? There we go, they're all trained. And uh, someone also mentioned, actually, I had a hole in the fence. I've got a hole in the airport, I can't remember. Uh, where I had put that, I have got a hole. Yeah, somebody did say to me, you've got a hole in your fence somewhere. Uh, I remember them saying that, in fact. Let's just have a quick, quick squiz around. Either that or I've got a hole in the wall of the terminal building, I can't remember. Look at that. Oh, there's cows walking around the outside of the airport. As long as they're walking around the outside, that's uh, that's perfectly fine by me. Tree there, it nearly looked like a hole. That's, that. That's another tree. Another tree. Well, touch wood, it seems to be. I mean, it could just be you've got a hole in your terminal building. Somebody said in the comments that I had a hole somewhere. Uh, but we'll leave it for now. Maybe I've got a chunk missing out of the taxiway. Who knows? Who knows? There we go. Keep you, keep you whizzing. And I mean, the next tasks are to build an international airport. And I mean, flipping heck, it's. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. You know, let's let's have a go. So we need to do the re the medium aircraft permit. Unlock any adjacent land by clicking on a padlock. Can can we build medium yet? I I don't know if we can. You know, I really don't know if we can. Hang on, operations. Yeah, start a new project. Project group two. Get it started. I need all of our best men on this, and women. Uh, right, hang on, we could do with some more administrators, actually, couldn't we? Because if we're going to be uh, 
doing a lot of research and development. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. We'll just hire all of them. Uh, staff overview. And you're all terrible, so we'll get you all trained up as much as we can. I mean, we'll get them into the green at least. You're only ever going to be in the orange. Well, you're fired then. I want all my staff to be in the green, preferably the dark green. Uh, hang on, administrator. You're in the green as well, we'll hire you. Train you up, oh look at that. There we go, we'll pop back into the uh, back into the research and development. There we go, six of them. Hopefully that will make it, uh, yeah there we go, then we can run two projects simultaneously. Oh and we've got some Havana planes coming in, look, there we go. They're, uh, they're all pottering away. Filling them up with fuel. Do we need more ramp staff? How many ramp agents have we got? A lot of this is staff, you know. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we've got six. That should be enough, shouldn't it? Is it just one ramp agent that we use per... I think it is for small, isn't it? For small planes. What about passenger service agents? Have we got enough of them? Because I know that I'm, uh, I'm an absolute bugger. Oh, we've only got four. Right, let's uh, let's have a few more. Let's have eight. Five. Six. Right, we'll just have six, because the rest of them... Why are they all in the red? Why are they all in the red? Let's have some janitors as well, but only the green ones. You could say that's discriminatory. It's not. I just want people that are good at my airport. I don't want people... That are just, uh, you know, coming for a free ride. You know, I want you to be good at what you do. We're going to train you to be the best of uh, the best. Best of the best, definitely. A couple of janitors as well. Uh, oh dear, that appears to be broken. Right. Have we got any... We've got no um, technicians, have we? Service technician. One, two, three, four. Is that four of you? Some reason I hired one. Sometimes it can be a bit jumpy when you're hiring people. I've accidentally fired people a few times over as well. There we go. Fix it. The sink is fixed. Oh, lovely. So they should just go around hopefully repairing things. Well, I don't know if we're making money or not. I've still not quite decided yet. I mean, we are making money. Hmm. I think we're just about scraping even, aren't we? Have we got any more of these flipping flights left? Oh, we've got a couple, look. They've, they've scheduled a few. I just feel like we can do more. Havana aren't happy. Why are you not happy? On time. Well, I'd say, I mean, KLM are 100% happy, so why are you not happy? I think they're lying, you know. I really do. Look, everyone's dropping off now for the, uh, go to the planes. Why are you not checking anyone in? Oh, you are, right, okay. They must be for different flights. There we go, through security. Is this the Havana one? Well, Havana, I still don't get why they think we're not, you know, I think we're doing a pretty good job, to be honest with you. Where are we? Maybe they'll be happier. The more time goes on, I mean, it's still only 30%. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, project group 2 is completed. Right, let's do a bit more research. So, some... Uh, ooh, uh, what could we have? We could have a medium aircraft. We could have an outstanding commercial license. Baggage handling, that'd be a good one. Uh, Maverick fuel trucks. I mean, that will make it everything go faster. It will, won't it? That will make everything go faster. Higher driving speed and faster refueling of aircraft. Well, we'll have you. We'll have three of you on there. Yeah, and what else can we have? We'll have an extended commercial license as well. I feel like... There we go, we can, we can stick the uh, the people that aren't on there, on there. Yeah, we'll have an extended commercial licence, because that'll allow us to do more things, won't it? I mean, I don't really know what it'll allow us to do. I think we can connect it up to the subway as well, uh, which costs an absolute arm and a leg, but never mind. 
I mean, we're actually making a pretty penny. The seats are full. There's a few people stood around, so maybe we could do with more seats. I mean, it doesn't really cost a lot, does it? A bit of, a bit of large seating. There we go. We'll pop a bit more in there as well. Leave a two gap. Oh, they're loving it, look. Loving it. Come on, get these seats built. Get them all checked in and get the plane out on time, please. Particularly Havana, because we want them to operate a few more flights. Are they happier yet? Oh, they're, they're going up. 33%. Oh, everyone's gone. Look, the airport lounge is more or less dead. Oh, there's a few over there now. So long as we have enough staff to get them all through fairly quickly, that's all we really need, isn't it? Oh, we're in the green. Look at that. In the green. Wow! At the end of the day, we're making some money. I guess now we've got a lot more flights coming in as well. Because Havana have actually picked up the pace, look, on the uh, on the old schedule. We've got all these extra two and a half thousand pounds of time coming in. 37% happy. They're really happy, aren't they? Why are KLM not offering more flights? Because they can't, because flight capacity is so low. Right. We need a bigger air traffic control tower then, don't we? So that we can operate more flights a day. We want this to be jam-packed, full of planes, 24-7, in order to maximise profit. Hmm. Hmm. We've got a fence there. Yeah, we have, haven't we? Hmm. How are we doing with that old research? Oh, so we're going to get some new fuel trucks. We'll uh, we'll actually be able to get rid of our old fuel trucks, as it happens, because uh, it'll just make them all a bit quicker, won't we? Come on, in your own time. It's sunset again. Are we still actually making money today? Yes, we are. We've made 37 grand in a day. Oh, you see, it's nicer when it starts to pay off, isn't it? Look at them all just whizzing in and out. The staff room's packed. We could do with some seats, actually. Uh, how happy are the staff? Because we want the staff to be happy. It's 87%. Oh, we've got some surfers, haven't we? What about uh, what about a few more? We're getting a lot of staff now, aren't we? Yeah, we'll, we'll just, there. Uh... That'll do. Bit more seating. And, uh, and we'll put some plants in the middle. Because otherwise our staff will all get stuck in the middle, won't they? If they're anything like, uh, Anna, what's she called? So we'll pop a plant there. And get a bit more seating for all our lovely staff to sit down on. Because I do want to take care of my staff. I know that we want to, uh... Well, we want to exploit the staff for everything that we're worth. We want to pay them a minimal amount of money for a maximum amount of work. But I do still want to kind of look after them in a sort of way. As in, I don't want them to go on strike. Let's uh, let's just have a look. What wood floor have we got? We'll pop that wood floor there as well. Um, I'm still making money. Yep, we're into 1,300,000. We need to. Uh, we, we need. We're basically waiting on the research and development now, aren't we? Medium fuel depots. That's a good one. Medium fuel depots. Yes. Let's have you. Get the. Uh, there we go. We'll take two of you off. Put them on there. Nope. Take one of you off. Put them on there. Medium fuel depots. Uh, we also need. Hang on. Where are we? Vehicles. Purchase vehicles. Avgas, Avgas, A1 and A1. Right, sell, 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 sell. Get rid of all of them. And we need the, uh, hang on, the Ford ones are the slow ones, aren't they? The Maverick are the better ones. 
two of you, and two of you. We're going to have an hour of not providing the service, aren't we? Um, I don't know how that's going to go down. I mean, that could end up with us delaying some flights, but never mind. I mean, the vehicles aren't good, are they? We, we could do with them all straight away. It'll pop up in the corner when it's time. And I guess the best time to do it is at night. There we go. New products are here. Oh, look at them. They're there, there straight away. I don't know where this chap's going. He's, uh, he's turning around and coming back down. Or he's just blocking the road. Where are you trying to get to, chaps? Just up there, please. There we go. They're loving it, aren't they? There we go. We get filled up. What's that? Is that uh, That's Jet A1, isn't it? Where's the Avgas stuff? Oh, that's up there. Right, okay. They're just going to... I mean, the, the, um, the general aviation is still making us quite a bit of money, isn't it? We could do with, like, some restaurants or something in here. We've not unlocked them yet, have we? Because it's all under research and development. Uh, what about salary cost reduction? Oh, we've got no people to do it. We could do with increased construction speed as well, couldn't we? I mean, what about... Actually, do you know what? We, we need the new control tower, don't we? Because I was going to say, we could put a lot of stands down here. Which we could. It's not the end, you know, it's it's not without possibilities. But we'd have to redo the inside, because this is wasted space. We could have a load of stands down here, because they will fit. We had a look in the last episode, didn't we? I mean, you could get one, two, three, four, maybe? Maybe five? Maybe. Probably about four. But it would really make the most of that space. But again, until we, we need a bigger air traffic control tower. Come on, commercial license. Come on. So we can't do any of this, can we? We could hire a procurement director. Should we have a procurement director? I mean, what are they going to do? Who knows? Uh, procurement director, you're pretty good. We'll have you. Let's have a look at the executive committee. What do they do? Reduces vehicle purchasing costs by 5% when present at the airport. Damn it, we could have done with hiring her before we uh, before we bought those air cr uh, before we bought the fuel trucks. That's a little bit irritating, isn't it? Never mind. We've got a bit of a gap in the uh, in the flights there, haven't we? But we've got yeah, you see flight capacity 25. We need a bigger ATC tower. I should have researched this earlier, shouldn't I? Because we're not making the most of all our flights. I mean, we've got a fair few, haven't we, over the course of the day? But yeah, we, we just need more flights. Tell you what, while we're here, can we build a car park? Public parking lot. I'm just thinking, because we don't have a car park, do we? Now, why do you six? Oh, you see, then you'll get rid of that. Oh, we've not done that very well, have we? There we go. What about car park on there? Now you see, even then, oh, why have we, we've not really planned this very well, have we, actually? Now that I think about it, let's, let's see, can we get a car park on, can we fit a car park here? We can, I just can't fit one the other side of the road, which is a bit annoying. Because, I mean, we do need a car park, don't we? Let's have a look, hang on, bit of, bit of floor, no, not floor. I want, uh, no, it's not terminal, is it? It's out there. There we go. Bit of sidewalk. Let's get you built as well, so people can walk over from the car park. I'd like a staff car park as well. I wonder if we could fit one of those in. Like, could we fit that in? Oh, we could. Now, that's an idea. We'll bully road in there. Ah, there you go, you see, we could, uh, 
So we've got the road there. Bung you up there. Because I want one of them to be a staff car park so our staff can just... Hopefully that will make them happy. I mean, I don't think that they're unhappy at the moment. We looked at that earlier. They're not unhappy, are they? But I just... I want to be good to my staff, like I say. Just don't tell them that. Let's have a bit of... Uh, let's have a bit of trees while we're here. Some sort of... Some sort of nice tree. There we go. Bit of woodland. Just keep tapper, tapper, tappering away. What else can we have? Uh, a few rocks. Oh, lovely. Makes it look a bit more natural, doesn't it? And it's pretty carefree, isn't it? I've just literally slapped it all in. Decked pond. We could have one of them. Nah, you, you're just building for the sake of building now, Joe. We need the research and development to come on. Eh, uh, dearie me. Right, well, I'll tell you what. We're near fuel depots, but this license is taking absolutely flipping ages, isn't it? So I'm going to go away and make sure that that is all done for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any ideas for where we could go next to this airport, you know, I'm kind of just making it up as I go along. I don't know if you're getting that from the, uh, from the episode. Didn't get as much building done today as I'd like to have done. I'd like to kind of... I mean, I'd like to just go... And make some massive, great, big walloping terminal, but obviously... Uh, we're kind of up against it with the research and development is what's taking the time. Uh, but yeah, do make sure that you subscribe if you do want to keep up with the uh, with the episodes. Uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of that. Other than that, again, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.